Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to introduce yourself. Jiko Shokai. But first, today's video is sponsored by iToki, who have kindly offered you guys $10 in credits with your first purchase through the platform. You have probably heard of iToki before, but if you haven't, they are a great online language learning environment where you can easily find native speakers and teachers of Japanese and other languages. I've actually taught on iToki myself for many years, and I think it's great for becoming fluent in the language. It's super affordable and way cheaper than language schools and in person tutors. It's also really convenient because you don't even have to leave your house to have a lesson. So, even if you are hikikomori, you can still learn Japanese. You can have a one to one personalized lesson through apps like Skype whenever you want. Scheduling a lesson with a real native is a great way to become fluent in Japanese because they can help you with whatever you are struggling with and you'll get authentic practice with a native. So, thank you to iToki. And if you're interested in having your first lesson, click the link in the description box and you'll get $10 towards your next lesson. Now, let's learn how to introduce yourself. So, first, if you meet someone for the first time, what you want to say is, Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Which means, nice to meet you. Hajime mashite comes from the word hajimete, which means for the first time. There is a really cute song called Hajimete no Chu. Chu is the sound of kissing. So, Hajimete no Chu is like my first kiss. The song is so cute. Maybe you guys find it weird, but to me it sounds really cute. It's like, Hajimete no chu, kimi to chu. Go listen to it because I'll leave the link for that one too. Yeah, so if you say Hajimete no now, it means my first something. So, Hajimete no kanojo, my first girlfriend. Hajimete no manga, my first manga. You can also use in a sentence like, Hajimete verb. So, for example, Hajimete Nihonjin to Hanashimasu. I'll talk to a Japanese person for the first time. If you are a real beginner, you may not have learned sentence construction, but in Japanese, generally, you put the time related word like first time, often, on Monday, tomorrow, at the beginning of a sentence, and a verb comes at the end. Hanashimasu, which means I talk or I will talk, and whatever is left should be put in the middle. And yeah, so this Nihonjin means Japanese person, Nihonjin, and then to, this is called a particle, and here it means with. Nihonjin to means with a Japanese person. Remember to put the particle, or more like preposition in English, after the word that you want to connect with. So in English, you say with someone. In Japanese, we have to say someone first and then this particle, to. Yeah, so you say, Hajime mashite for nice to meet you. And then what you want to say next is, my name is or I'm something. The easiest way and the most common way is, name des. Name des. Super easy. So this des is a verb and it's basically like to be in English. So I'm Misa, I would say Misa des. Misa des. For example, if your name is James Bond, in Japanese we put the surname first and then the first name. So you want to say Bondo James des. Bondo James des. I guess it sounds less badass, but yeah, that's the rule for Japanese. And a lot of beginners put Watashi wa at the beginning. Watashi means I, and wa is the particle that means as for or speaking of. So, Watashi wa Bondo James desu. That is okay. But unlike English, we normally omit the word Watashi wa, and repeating the word Watashi wa is quite annoying to hear to Japanese people. You can just say, Hajime mashite, Misa desu. That's the most common way. Textbooks do tell you to do Watashi wa Misa desu because they want to teach you the word Watashi and gradually introduce words 
bit by bit. But the natural way is name this. You also see watashi no namae wa name this. Watashi means I. By putting this no, it means my. Watashi no, because this no particle is called a possessive particle. So if I say misa no, then that means misas. Watashi no namae means name. It's funny because he write the word namae in romaji or the alphabet. It really looks like the English word name. But again, this option is not that common. It's the same in English. Rather than saying, nice to meet you, my name is a lot of the time people just go for the quicker option Nice to meet you, I'm blah blah You could do 私の名前は name this But it's less common And it's longer so what's the point? And if you want to for example say I'm Michael Jackson but call me Mike You first say Jackson Michael desu And then for please call me Mike We say Mike to yonde kudasai. Mike to yonde kudasai. I'm not gonna explain too much about this grammar because I already have a lesson on this exact thing. You can watch my Absolute Beginners series video for the te form. When a sentence ends with te kudasai or de kudasai, you would translate like please do something because the dictionary form the actual plain form of this yonde is yobu yobu so if you look up the word to call in a dictionary you get this verb yobu and you want to conjugate this yobu into its te form which is like a request form so yonde and then you put kudasai for politeness please if you want to be informal you can just say yonde as well yeah, so Mike to yonde kudasai. So you already saw this to particle earlier from the sentence hajimete nihonjin to hanashimas, and we translate that to as with. To can have many usages, but it's used as a quotation mark. So Mike to yonde kudasai means call me. Mike. And again, I've already made a lesson on that, so go check it out if you want to learn more about this particle, to. Alright, so if you're not a Japanese person, you probably are not if you're watching this, then a lot of Japanese people are curious about your nationality. So you want to say what nationality you are. Do you remember how we say Japanese person? We say Nihonjin. So Nihon means Japan and by adding this Jin, it means Japanese person. So you can do the same for your nationality. You say your country plus Jin. So American, America Jin, America Jin. So you can say America Jin desu, America Jin desu. Canadian, Canada Jin, Canada Jin. Australian, Australia Jin, Australia Jin. English, Igirisu Jin, Igirisu Jin. Irish, Ireland Jin, Ireland Jin. Scottish, Scotland Jin, Scotland Jin. French, France Jin. German, Deutsch Jin. Italian, Italia Jin, and so on. So just da and then plus this. For example, Bondo James des. Bondo to yonde kudasai. Igirisu jin des. So far, so good. If you want to, for example, say I'm from somewhere, you can also say Shushin wa place. Shushin means where one is from. So for example, you can say Shushin wa. So California Shu is how we say state. And then no particle 
Again, it's the possessive particle. So you can usually translate like the apostrophe S. So it's like Californian and then San Diego. So we normally put the bigger element first. So state and then city or town. And then you might be from California, but currently you live in Japan. Then you say, demo, but Nihon ni sunde imas. Demo Nihon ni sunde imas. So I told you that a verb comes at the end. Sunde imas is the verb to live. But if you do look up the word to live in a dictionary, you probably will get the verb sumu or sumimas. These mean I will live. So if you say Nihon ni sumimas, it means I will live in Japan. So what you want to say is sunde imas, which means currently live. Again, I've explained it. If you want to know the grammar behind it, go check out my Absolute Beginners lesson. Place ni sunde imas is how you say I live in place. But for example, you used to live in Japan for several years, but you don't anymore. You can say nihon ni Sunde imashita. Nihon ni sunde ima. B is the same as the previous one. When you see mashita at the end, it's the past tense. So sunde imashita means I used to live. And like I said, we put the time related words at the beginning. So if you want to say, like, I lived in Japan for a year, you say, Ichinankan nihon ni sunde imashita. All right, now people probably want to know if you are a student or working. Student, we say, gakusei, gakusei. So you can say, gakusei desu, gakusei desu. If you want to be more specific, shogakusei is like elementary school student. So it's like from the first to sixth grade in Japan. And chugakusei, that's like junior high school student but that's from the 7th to 9th grade in Japan. And high school student, kōkōsei, kōkōsei. That's from the 10th grade to 12th grade. And then if you're a college student, you say, daigakusei, daigakusei. And then if you want to say, I'm studying something, you say, something o benkyō shiteimasu. Again, I've made a lesson already on this benkyo shiteimasu, so go check that out if you're interested. But make sure you say shiteimasu instead of shimasu. If you want to say I'm studying Japanese, you can say Nihongo benkyo shiteimasu. But if you're working, then you can either say your profession and then des. For example, programmer des means I'm a programmer or Eigo kyoshi desu Eigo kyoshi desu So Eigo is how we say English as a language and kyoshi is how we would say teacher but as a profession So you can say sensei for the word teacher but if you're talking about your job it's more professional to say Eigo kyoshi desu I'm an English teacher. Or kaisha in. Kaisha in. That's how we say office worker. So kaisha in desu. We also have words like salary man, which comes from English words salary and man. Salary man. And also oeru, which stands for office lady. So yeah, a lot of people say oeru desu. But you can say kaisha in desu, then that's more professional. Or you can say place de hataraiteimasu. Place de hataraiteimasu. Then that means I'm working at. For example, if you're working at a supermarket, you say supa de hataraiteimasu. But you can also say company ni tsutometeimasu. Company ni tsutometeimasu. This tsutomete imas is quite a formal word, but it means working for. So, for example, Sony ni tsutomete imas. I'm working for Sony. 
And if you want to say what you like, then you can say something ga suki desu. Something ga suki desu. Again, I've already made a lesson on this adjective suki, so go check that out. For example, hon ga suki desu. I like books. Manga to anime ga suki desu. Here, this to particle means and. Manga to anime ga suki desu. Sports ga suki desu. Nihon ga suki desu. And so on. I also have a lesson on talking about hobbies, so go check that out. And if you want to say your birthday, you say Tanjoubi wa month and then date des. So Tanjoubi is how we say birthday. So my birthday, again, you don't really need to say the word my. Watashi no Tanjoubi wa is enough. Because again, people will know that you're talking about yourself. So, Tanjoubi wa, for example, for me, Nigatsu yoka desu. Nigatsu yoka desu. The 8th of February. So, make sure you put the month first and then the day. So, Ichigatsu January. Nigatsu February. Sangatsu, Shigatsu, Gogatsu. 6月、7月、8月、9月、10月、11月、12月 But for dates, it's a bit more complicated, so I'd have to make another lesson, but yeah. And finally, Japanese people are a bit obsessed with blood types. So someone might ask you what your blood type is. Blood type, we say 血液型 血液型 Ketsueki is how we say blood, but in a medical term, normally we just say chi. Yeah, ketsueki gata, blood type. So A gata, B gata, O gata, and then AB gata. Especially students really want to know what your blood type is because a lot of them believe that depending on the blood type, your personality is different. So, like, so for example, the type A is usually quite neat and smart, but a bit boring. The type B is selfish, but would be a great leader. Type O is usually laid back and can get along well with most people, which sounds the best to me. The type AB is a genius, apparently. Personally, I don't care. But some people might ask you, so it might be good to check what your blood type is. Alright, and then at the end, you want to say Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. This is lost in translation, but basically it means I'm looking forward to working with you or please take care of me, something like that. Whenever you start a new project or meet someone for the first time or you know that you will work together, then you say that. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. For short or more casually, we also say Yoroshiku, Yoroshiku. So you start the introduction from Hajimemashite and then you say your name, Misa desu, and then you can choose what you want to put in the introduction. And then at the end, you want to say Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Alright, I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because it's free, right? And if you're feeling like your Japanese hasn't improved, maybe because you need the speaking practice, then go check out iToki. The link is in the description box. Thank you for watching. Arigato. じゃあまたね。バイバイ。